So here we have two videos showing gameplay of Injustice 2. One video was captured using the Elgato HD60S, the other was with a cheaper quality capture card. Can you tell the difference? Well, if you said the first one was captured by the Elgato, then you're correct. But what if I told you the cheaper capture card costs nearly seven times less than the HD60S, yet still captures in 1080p resolution? Well, fellow gamers, that statement is also correct. And in just a moment, we'll be taking a look on how well it performs at its super budget price point. Stay tuned. What's up fellow gamers, it's Ventures here and I'd like to welcome you back to my channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the ultra affordable HDMI video capture card I brought from Amazon for about 20 bucks. We'll be going over its build quality, its ease of use, and how it compares to the ever so popular HD60S by Elgato. So without further ado, let's get into it. So taking a look at the HDMI video capture card, the first thing you'll notice is that it's extremely small and lightweight. It seems to have a form factor of a flash drive or one of those USB Wi-Fi adapters commonly seen on the market today. But its body is decently built with its all plastic shell and its smooth curvature that makes it easy to handle whether placing it into small storage spaces or inside of a pocket when needed to travel. It has a simple input output design where it receives a HDMI cable from the bottom while outputting its signal through USB 2.0 into a computer or laptop. And yes, I said USB 2.0. More of that a little later. When comparing it to the Elgato HD60S, it's almost four times smaller and five times lighter in weight. But the Elgato does have an advantage with its HDMI output to television or monitor while the HDMI video capture card doesn't have any. Also, the HD60S does come with proprietary software, customer support, and a general warranty when purchasing the device. The HDMI video card does not. But what it lacks in features and support, it makes up for it in performance. So using the capture card is relatively simple. As stated before, this capture card can be put into a USB port, whether USB 2.0 or 3.0, and still advertise to work. From there, you place the HDMI cable from the device you're capturing footage from into the bottom of the capture card, and you're all set up. When capturing footage, you simply use your favorite broadcasting software. I'm using Streamlabs OBS. Go to your sources. and add a new source. Choose video capture device and locate the USB video device from the drop down menu. Select it and you're off to the races. The software will capture the video up to 1080p at 30 frames per second and will receive video input from as high as 4K resolution. Afterwards, you can record, take screenshots, or even live stream your gameplay from your favorite console or camera to popular sites like Twitch or YouTube using all the alerts and overlays you'd normally use if streaming directly from a PC. The quality was mostly lag free with a few delays with the input from my controller, but this was minute and to be expected at this price point. Overall, I was pleasantly surprised at the experience and that quite frankly, it even worked at all. So here are a few comparisons of gameplay captured by both the HDMI video capture and the HD60S.
as you might notice, there is a small difference in quality when comparing the two capture cards. But at $20 versus the HD60's $130 plus price tag, I think this capture card is stellar in its performance while allowing those that wouldn't be able to afford to capture console gameplay to do so at a reasonably affordable price. So guys, that's my review of the HDMI video capture card. Is this finally the solution to your gameplay capturing needs while not spending your last time to get quality gameplay footage or capturing camera video? Leave a comment down below and let me know. And as always, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video. Peace out gamers.